Hello friends, my name is Ankit Jaiswal and this is you and Pawna Thigma Learning Solution and today we are going to discuss how students can clear engineering drawing very easily. Uh, there are few things that I would like to tell you before I start with uh, the main questions. In engineering drawing, uh, there are a lot of times which students are not able to finish the paper. So you are given 3 hours for the paper but then still students can't finish the whole paper. Uh, the main reason for that can be time management. Okay, you are spending a lot of time in one question, or the other reason can be wrong selection of question. Another reason can be the diagram which we have drawn is not fitting in the allocated that you allo the space that you allocated, and then you have to rub it again and you have to draw it again. Okay, so there are these are the certain mistakes that students do. Okay, so. Let's uh, uh, if if I have to say which you know, how much time you should spend on each question, I will tell you when I am discussing the topic. Uh, the second thing is about the space. There are certain questions that you have to start on certain side. And there are certain questions you have to follow certain steps. Okay, that again I will discuss when we are taking out the topics. Okay. So these are the few things you know that students normally face problems. They are not able to complete the paper in three hours. Uh, the space issue is there. They are not you know able to fit the diagram in the uh, the space that alloc that they allocated. And so for that you should follow certain steps that I am telling you, and I think so that will help you surely. Uh, let's start with the first chapter, engineering problems. In engineering problems, you will see one question for six marks. It will either be on cipher or evolute. Okay. Normally it is seen in question number one. Okay. And helix is also mentioned in the syllabus, but then there have been no questions that have been asked till now on helix. Okay. But then there is only one type of question on helix in the textbook. You can just go through it. Uh, if you if, uh, if you ask me uh, the recommended textbook for engineering drawing, I will suggest NS Dubey. Very good book. Covers lot of numerical sums if you see try to do all the exam questions that uh, has been mentioned the year has been mentioned okay because generally those are the questions that will appear in the paper very nicely solved very nicely uh, the steps are given and i think so you should go with that book okay so if you see the sums from that book on cycler you will, you will get a lot of type of sums and one sum from that type will surely appear in the paper Okay, so this will fetch you around six marks. Cycler evolution. Okay, next coming to projection of lines and planes. In projection of lines, uh, uh, there can be a question like there can be a question on projection lines or there can be a question on projection of things. Again, and on projection of lines, they, they might tell you that the line is inclined to H P V T. Okay, in that way. So just check out the solve examples on that. I know in position of planes there are a lot of types like rectangular, square, uh, rectangular, pentagon, hexagon, circular. Just check out the solve examples uh, from NS Dubey again and just you know try to do those sums. Again here only checking uh, like seeing the diagrams and how it is solved will not help. You have to give time and solve it once because you know that time you will understand how much time do you require to solve that question. This question you should be able to finish in 15 minutes, not more than that. In 15 minutes, you should fetch just 6 marks. Coming to this question again, now 20 minutes you can finish this question very easily. You have to finish this question in 20 minutes again. Okay, so when uh, see the questions on this are not that difficult. If you see all the solve examples that have been you know solved, if you see all the solve exam questions that have come. They are not that difficult. You have to understand the question properly. Okay, what exactly the question is, and even in this, uh, when you are seeing the solve examples, you know, try to analyze like when this uh, no, it is inclined to HP 45 degree. What is tan? Okay, in that way you will understand how like any question that you have to, you are given, you will understand it properly. So try to try to do all solve examples, and from all the solve examples that you have seen, try to solve at least four and five. So that you get, you know, get a hands-on experience of drawing those diagrams, and you can, you will be able to draw those diagrams very fast in the exam. So around 20 minutes, you should go to give to this. This topic is very important. Around 36 month people will come from this topic. 
So it's it's uh, there are three three type of questions that can be asked. Two stage prism cylinder. Generally, the question on prism and cylinder is seen in two stage. In three stage, either either pyramid or cone. Okay, cone sums are not directly different. Pyramid sums there are some tricks. So you have to check uh, the question very properly. If it is mentioned axis or you know something other, based on that your angles will change. Okay, so you have to check the pyramid sums very properly. Uh, pyramid sums are bit difficult. But then if you see all the solid examples that has been given in the textbook, and if you if you can you know understand those sums very properly, you can fetch 15 marks very easily in this question. Six, uh, 15 marks and 6 marks, very simple to uh, uh, like give. Next important questions from again from this is section and development. A 15 mark question on section and development will appear. Uh, again, it's not very difficult, but then it takes time. Okay, so around half an hour you should give to this question. Just take the solid examples that have been given in the textbook, try to understand them and I think you can touch around 15 marks easily here also. See, the development part is not that difficult. It is all you have to you know work hard on section part. Once you are done with section part, development part you can really do. So just check out those all examples for development part, and I think so you can you know fetch this 15 marks also very easily. Now next coming to orthogonal, there are two type of sums. One is two views with without section. So one question will be given or will come for about 9 marks in which you have to draw only two views. Okay. You have to check which view has been asked. If it is top view, bottom view or front view. Okay. You have to check it very properly and draw those two views only. Don't waste time in drawing the third view. See the in the all the dimensions that are required for those two views will be given in the question itself. So there will be no need to draw third view. Based on the two views, like based on the questions given, you can draw two views very easily directly. Another question can be three views full, full three views you have to draw for half section. Okay. This question I don't recommend. Okay, you should not attempt this question. The only reason is it will take at least half an uh, at least one hour to solve this question. Okay, and in this question, you know, you might not touch 15 out of marks also because some of the other things we miss in this question. So I don't suggest to do this question because the maximum time that people waste, students waste, uh, is in this question. So this question, I can say you can directly skip it. Okay. So next important, uh, next question is the uh, next topic is isometric. In that, there are two types. One is with plane surface, and another is with curved surface. So around the uh, no six mark question on plane surface and around nine mark question on curved surface is asked. Here also the with plane surface. See this topic is a bit difficult, but then again the questions that have been asked on plane surface are pretty are still a bit simple. Okay, so if you do this this question, you can still understand this. Okay, try to understand from the diagram how the three D view is drawn. Once you can understand that, this 6 mark question you can solve very easily. This 9 mark question, you know, it is there are cross surfaces, so you generally make mistakes in this. But then at least, you know, you should be able to solve this 6 mark question in the paper. I can, I know, I will suggest you again to skip this, this, this question, okay, and to focus on this question very properly. So, now coming to what are questions you should attempt. This question for sure. Again, this question check out. You no, know, normally this question and this question appears together. Okay, so you have to you know check out properly. So if you skip this question, you will just get nine marks. Okay, that question. So try to do this top two topics properly. A three stage pyramid for fifteen marks and section and development for fifteen marks. So one and then there will be a two. Uh, two stage pyramid, uh, prism and cylindrical question for six marks. One question on two views and one question on cross surface. See the cross surface question that we are reading. Okay, this will mostly appear with this two stage. Okay, it might uh, this uh, this nine mark question will appear with normally with this two stage. Okay, 
But it, it depends, okay? The pattern can change any time, and you might you know, see a shifting also. But then the question that you have to attempt is curves, projection of lines. Once you have done this, you can understand this topics well. Once this is done, then go for this two view section, and then with plane surface. The question that you should attempt first are from this topics only. Attempt this question at the end because it will take around half, half, half an hour to 45 minutes. So this question you should give around 15 minutes, this 20 minutes max, this question again 15 minutes, 15-15 mark question in this two section you should give 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, try to finish. If you have given, you have, if you have practiced well, you can complete this part in 30 to 40 minutes. So you should not give more than that. So you should not waste more than one hour on one question. Okay. So Around 30 to 40 minutes max you should give to each of this question. It will take around 40 minutes, 40, 45 minutes to solve this question for 9 marks. And then again uh, around 30 minutes to this question. So overall, this is the question, these are the questions that you should attempt. Avoid attempting the question of uh, three few uh, three views full or uh, half section and with curved surfaces. So this is what you know, this is what my planning about the questions like uh, what uh, in what space uh, uh, what space you should draw, draw the like questions this type of questions try to start, uh, start from this side the reason is you know this will go this way so you know if you start it here it might you know in it might it might, it might go out of this uh, out of the sheet so you will have to rub it and do it again so that's the mistake that students generally do. Try to you know, start this type of questions from this side. For this question, try to get the maximum dimension possible. Okay, from the diagram here. Once you can you know, find the maximum dimensions, allocate the space accordingly to this question. So let's say if it uh, if it's uh, taking around six centimeter by six centimeter. Uh, leave 8 cm from here, 8 to 9 cm, space of 8 to 9 cm this side and try to then start going here. Once after you have given the whole uh, like outline, then start with this question. Else again you know you might, if you don't care, consider the maximum dimensions first, you might not, not be able to fit the question properly. Okay. Again the same thing happens for this also. So overall, this is what I suggest for engineering drawing. If you do this questions also properly, you can clear very easily in engineering drawing. So uh, try to try to understand all the sums that have been given in Ennis Dubey, and you know read the steps that he has told and understand the sums. It is very simple. It is not that difficult. He has made it very nicely. So do that nicely, and I think so that will you know help uh, help you to score well. So that's it for this video. Uh, if you like this video, please like it on our YouTube channel. Uh, do subscribe to our channel so that you keep getting updates of the other topics that will be coming. Okay, so that's it.